Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Fine. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to find out the reduction formula for cosecant power in x dx, where n is a positive integer and it is greater than or equal to 2. Fine. Also, after, after doing that, we need to find out integral cosecant power 5x dx. Okay. Chalo. And I have with me Krishna who is going to ask some doubts in uh, doubts in between and also is going to answer my questions and I'm going to ask some questions to you also fine please interact with me so that you can make the best out of your time in watching this video okay Chalo. now first thing is we need to take this cosecant power in x dx as i n first take this as i n fine now next this cosecant power n x dx I'm going to write it as cosecant power n minus 2 x into cosecant square x this is totally okay Fine, because x power n can be written as x power n can be written as x power n minus 2 into x square. Because like if, if I'll do x power n minus 2 into x square, I'll get x power n minus 2 plus 2. Ultimately, I'll get x power n. Fine. So that's why I can write it like this. Now, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this, write this as something like this minus is there here and also i wrote another minus here because so minus into minus will be plus i'll get the previous step fine now you might ask me why i'm doing like this there is a reason why because i want to write this as derivative of something i want to write this as derivative of something fine. now a question for your audience whose derivative is minus cosecant square x fine whose derivative is minus cosecant square x krishna can you answer Okay, before that, you can just pause here and put your answer in the comments box, fine, if possible. What do you say, Krishna? Cot x? Right. Krishna got it right. It is cot x. So, derivative of cot x is minus cosecant square x. So, fine. Instead of this minus cosecant square x, I'm going to write it as derivative of cot x. Fine. And this outside minus is there as it is. Chalo. Now, this is like a, fun a function into derivative of a function, like integration of a function into derivative of a function. Here, I can apply something known as integration by parts. Now, what is this integration by parts? Don't fear, okay? Some of you might think, okay, integration has many concepts, like how to... Don't worry. I'll try my best to make it easy for you. As per integration by parts, don't see this step. Just see this. It states that integral u of x into v dash of x. v dash of x means that derivative of v of x. Like, let's say I have a function into derivative of another function and it's there in the integral. If that is the case, I can write it as u of x into v of x minus integral u dash of u dash of x into v of x dx. Fine. Now, now see how I am applying. Going to apply. I need to find. Let's see what is u of x and what is v of x. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Chalo. Now see, it's pretty easy to know what is u of x. Fine. You see here, I have function cosecant power n minus two x. Here also I have u of x. So fine. This is. This is u of x and this is cosecant. This is nothing but my u of x, fine. Now, how, let's find out v of x. Here you see I have v dash of x. What do I have here? v dash of x, okay. Here I have derivative of cortex. v dash of x is what? Derivative of v of x. Derivative of v of x is derivative of cortex. What is v of x? Cortex. Hmm? I hope you got that. So, this is my v of x. Because this v dash of x, this is derivative of cortex. So if we, if we match, we'll get v of x as cortex. Fine. So now let's apply this formula. If I'll apply this formula, so what I have in the RHS, u of x into v of x. So that's why this minus is there. Minus will come to the entire one. Fine. That's why I kept it in the bracket. So u of x into v of x. So this u cos cosecant power n minus 2x into cortex minus integral u dash of x. What does u dash of x mean? Derivative of uh, cosecant power n minus 2x fine into v of x is nothing but cot x dx fine chalo i hope everything is clear up till now fine. okay okay i know krishna will ask me a doubt now now what is that doubt is he will ask me how how i'm going to find out derivative of cosecant power n minus 2x fine i already explained this in the previous videos but still i'll go go a bit detail again fine. Now, but before that let's just let me just show you what will this one's answer be now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this, multiply minus to both. Like if I multiply, so I'll get minus cosecant power n minus 2x into cortex and 
the minus n to minus will be plus now derivative of cosecant power n minus 2x is nothing but n minus 2 into cosecant power n minus 3x into derivative of cosecant x now you guys might think okay how did he get it fine see cosecant power n minus 2x is nothing but cosecant x power n minus 2 it's a way of writing okay it's, a, it's just a way of writing so cosecant power cosecant x power n minus 2 as I explained cosecant power n minus 2x can be written as cosecant x power n minus 2 fine now I need to find out this one's derivative. Now I need to find out this one's derivative. Chalo. If you see, this is of the form. This is of the form x power n. Hmm? Now what is derivative of x power n? Krishna, n x power n minus 1. Good. n x power n minus 1. But here the power is n minus 2, not n. That's why I'll get n minus 2 into cosecant x whole power n minus 2 minus 1 n minus 2 minus 1 is n minus 3 that's why I have cosecant power n minus 3x fine now here I am differentiating with respect like I am differentiating cosecant x power n minus 2 not x power n minus 2 so that's why as per chain rule I will have into derivative of cosecant x and then cortex dx this is my cortex is there as it is fine okay any doubts please come in the comments box so that I could help you better fine in case you did not understand this or anything okay Chalo, don't get bored. Okay, I know this is a little deep, but try to digest it. This concepts and this integration could feel you could feel it a little deep, especially for those who hate max. I mean, like I met many, like they say that I don't like max, but still we have to clear it, right? Like exam is there, and these exam these questions are important. So, <sighs> what to do? Fate which cannot be escaped. Chalo. So this n minus 2 is a constant, I can keep it outside the integral. Okay? So n minus 2 and derivative of cosecant derivative of cosecant x is nothing but minus cosecant x cortex. And I have another cortex x. Okay? Chalo. By now you'll understand, like see. Okay, now this minus is there. I'm going to send it here. Okay. I mean this will become minus. Okay. Now cosecant power n minus 3x into cosecant power 1x. Like cosecant x is nothing but cosecant power 1x. So what I'd get cosecant power n minus 3, see. If I'll multiply, if I'll multiply this and this cosecant power, I'll just show you. If I were to multiply this and this, what I'd get, this is nothing but cosecant power 1x. You can think of it as cosecant power 1x. What I'd get is, I'd get cosecant power n minus 3 plus 1x. What is n minus 3 plus 1? n mi minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So what I'd get is n minus 2, cosecant power n minus 2x. Fine. Chalo, let's keep going. So n my as I mentioned this minus came here and cosecant power n minus 2x I got when I multiplied this and this. Now cot x into cot x is nothing but cot square x. Fine. Now question for you audience and question for you also Krishna. How can I write cot square x in terms of cosecant square x? There is an identity in trigonometry with the help of which I can do that. You can pause the video and just write your answer in the comments box. Fine. So that you can keep interacting with me through my to all my questions whatever I ask. Okay. Now Krishna. Good. Cosecant square x minus 1. Krishna is familiar good with the basics. Hmm. Chalo. So that's what cosecant square x minus 1. Now next. Now if I'll multiply cosecant power n minus 2x into cosecant square x. Again the same logic. What I'd get is this time cosecant power n minus 2 and cosecant square. So what I'd get is what I'd get is cosecant power n minus 2 plus 2x which is nothing but cosecant power nx cosecant if i multiply these two i'd get cosecant power nx and then cosecant power n minus 2x into 1 is cosecant power n minus 2x fine okay chalo 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 mm. now next what i'm going to do is i'm going to like integral like minus is there right so integral will go to both of them this integral and minus integral of this next now also i am going to multiply this minus of n minus 2 to both fine right? so minus n minus 2 integral cosecant power nx dx that is one of the things which i am going to have and then minus into my minus n minus 2 into minus integral cosecant power n minus 2x dx so minus into minus is plus n minus 2 integral cosecant power n minus 2x fine okay see i'll go a bit slow here see what i did is see i gave the integral to both Integral a plus b is nothing but like integral f of x plus g of x is nothing but integral f of x plus integral g of x. So integral can be split like that. 
So I'm going to split this integral and there's a minus here. So minus n minus 2 into this is nothing but plus this and this into this as it is fine. Chalo. Any doubts? Again, come in the comments box. Fine. Chalo. Let's keep going. Now, uh, if you remember in the first slide, like what did I take? Uh, cosecant power nx dx as i n. I took cosecant power nx dx as i n. Okay. So instead of this, I'm going to write i n. And this is cosecant power n minus 2x. So it would be i n minus 2. It would be i n minus 2. And naturally, minus the, this n minus 2 is there to both. Okay. Now, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one to the LHS. Minus of n minus 2 i n, I'm going to take it to the LHS. Fine. So that's what I'm going to have. So i n plus n minus 2 i n is nothing but this. Fine. Okay. Chalo. Now, what, now just multiply this n i n minus 2 i n. So n i n minus 2 i n. Next, i n minus 2 i n is nothing but i n minus 2 i n. It is nothing but minus i n. Okay. It is nothing but minus i n. So I'd have n i n minus i n. Now take i n common here. So i n, if I'll take, I'll get n minus 1 into i n. Okay. Now if to get i n, I just need to send this to the RHS. If I were to do that, so what I'd get is this. Fine. It goes in the denominator. Okay, mission completed, partially, not totally. <laughs> Fine, still we need to find out cosecant power phi x takes. Right? But still, like I'm happy that you guys are here. This means that you are serious about learning up till now. Fine, that's a good sign. Hmm. Okay, now yeah, we need we need to find out cosecant power phi x takes. What do we need to find out cosecant power phi x takes? Now for that, what to do is just put n as 5, just put n as 5. So we need to find out i5, not high 5, i5, okay, i5, okay, not this high 5, no, i5, chalo, mm, fine, just put n as 5 here, okay, if you put n as 5, so wherever you see n in this entire equation, just replace it with 5, so this is what I did here, fine, minus cosecant power 5 minus 2x, cortex by 5 minus 1 plus, it's there in front of you, fine. So, 5 minus 2 is 3, I'd get minus cosecant cube x cortex by 4 plus 5 minus 2 is 3 by 4 i3. Okay. So, now, how I'm going to find out i3? For i, for i5, I put 10 as 5. For i3, I need to put 10 as 3. That's it. Okay. I'm also getting a little bored. Krishna was getting, he's getting, I was also getting a little bored. I know these are lengthy and a bit tiring but still let's keep going <sighs> Chalo. so for i3 you are seeing this right i n in this just put n as 3 okay that's what you are gonna see in this next slide so wherever n was there i just put 3 fine so if i were to do that this is what i get next so cosecant power 3 minus 2 x is nothing but cosecant power 1 x which is nothing but cosecant x fine so minus cosecant x cortex but just multiply, okay, 3 into this, 3 by 4 into this will be nothing but minus 3 cosecant x cortex by 4 to the right. Next and this into this will be 3, 1 the 3, 4 to the right, so 3 by 8 time. Okay, fine, chalo. Now, we took in the beginning, i n as integral cosecant power n x dx, okay. Now, here I have i1. i1 means integral, i1 means integral cosecant power 1 x, which is nothing but integral cosecant x dx. Fine. Now, integration of cosecant x is nothing but log mod cosecant x minus cortex and then plus constant integration constant also comes fine Chalo. claps for me and claps to you also because you have successfully and very patiently you are there up till now which itself is a great thing this means that you are serious about learning fine not just this video i made other videos as well uh, related to indefinite integration you can browse my channel or check the playlist you could find definite integration, you can find uh, circles, you can also find like 2A topics like theory of equations, binomial theorem. Please do check them out, fine. And in case you like this video, please hit the like button, it will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.